Welcome to Dark Knight Films Reviews and another Hammer Productions Night. Tonight, I will be reviewing Visa to Canton, released in 1960. Directed by Michael Carreras, from a script by Gordon Wesley, starring Richard Basehart, Lisa Gastoni, Athena Saylor, Eric Pullman, Burt Quoak, Martin Maitland, and Milton Reed. Now, this film in the U.S. is known as Passport to China. Um, I'm reviewing it under its uh, British title of Visa to Canton, because I think that title is more apt and appropriate to this film. Now, this one uh, stars a very, very underrated actor named Richard Basehart. And he was in so many really great British films back in the late 40s, early 50s. And he is really, really charismatic as an actor. I have always liked him as an actor. And uh, unfortunately, by the 60s, his star had started to decline. So by the time that he did this, he didn't have the bankability that he had back in the 50s. Um, but I still think he gives a really good performance in here. He plays a character named Don Benton, who was a former special agent for the government. And uh, now he is running his own business. He's moved away from that. Now he is approached early in the film about getting back into the special agent business. But he rejects them. It isn't until a friend of his, Mayo Tai Tai, as played by Athena Saylor, who asks him to search for her son, whose plane went down and he is now missing in action. He does go and do it, and he saves the character, who happens to be played by Burt Quoke. His character's name is Jimmy. Um, I just wish that, uh, Athene Sailors was not playing this, uh, May Tai Tai character because she is not Asian. And I hate this. And they do it later on in the film as well. They do the same thing with the character of Ivano Kane, as played by Eric Pullman. And uh, he is a little bit more, uh, I can let it slide, because he's sort of doing what eventually will be comparable to a Bond villain. Now, this was two years before the first James Bond film. Now, James Bond had existed in novel form at this point. So Hammer could have... Um, been inspired by those novels to make this film. But they didn't have a film template yet to model after. So you can't say that this film is a ripoff of the James Bond films, as, like I said, they don't happen until two years after this one. Um, but it does have that feel. If you watch it now, it does have that feel, and it feels like a... Um, 007 James Bond film with Sean Connery. Um, and that's kind of cool. It doesn't have quite the action-oriented stuff as a Bond film does, but it has some really cool, tense, psychological moments in it that work really well. Uh, one moment that I did think could have been improved a little bit better was the character of Lola Sanchez, as played by Lisa Gastoni. Now, she kind of betrays Jimmy at one point and um, is working with the other side, kind of trying to get them to deal with her and everything for the big money. And there's moments where it seems like um, the Ivano character is going to try to use her against Richard Basehart's Don. Which would have been cool. It would have been cool if, if uh, he, he would have uh, used some sort of 
uh, manipulation on her to get her to turn on um, Don because she was starting to fall for Don, I think, in this story. Um, but they just have her eventually, um, and spoiler alert, if you want to watch this film, go watch it and then come back and finish this part because I am going to spoil something for you right now. Um, she basically just ends up killing, um, Ivano in here. And that's, that was unfortunate because it was such an abrupt ending to such a cool psychological struggle here. And I think it could have ended better that way. But overall, I think Visa de Canton is a very well-made um, spy film. Um, and Richard Basehart is incredible in his role. He didn't miss a step, even though his career had languished, as I said, at this point. He, was, he still had it on screen in my opinion. So I'm going to give Visa to Canton, a.k.a. Um, Passport to China, I'm going to give this film a 8.9 out of 10. It is a really, really good film. And uh, I implore you to check it out if, if anything, if you were just a fan of some of the James Bond films of the uh, 60s uh, period and everything, because it does have a lot of parallels to them, even though it came before then. But have you seen this film? And if you have, let me know in those comments down below if you agree with my review or you disagree. Let me know. And as usual, if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell icon so you can be notified about future videos just like this one. And while you're by the subscribe button, click that join button and become a Dark Knight fan. As a Dark Knight fan plus member, you have access to an area right now where you can vote on any movie, TV show, or ranking video that you want me to do on the channel and when I do it it will go up for all plus members exclusively for a limited time before it goes up on the channel officially so if you want to be interactive now is a good time well that's it for another hammer productions night if you missed last week's hammer productions night check out the link up here to get caught up on that one or if you missed any of the other hammer productions night be sure and check out the playlist right here to get caught up on any of them that you have missed.